morning everybody um, it's day six um, and at the moment we're hen harrier hunting we're, we're walking around and left fawn at the moment um, and we've seen two female hen harriers around this area before we managed to find somewhere to park and out enjoying the morning sun was this meadow pipit and this reed bunting trying to remain hidden and then we saw this hen harrier enjoying a meal it was too far away to see what it was but two or three bites and it had gone and then she was off she was circling and climbing surveying her territory looking out for any threats and she spotted something with the slight angle change of her wings the speed increase was incredible it was another harrier encroaching onto her territory but it didn't hang around and it left and the female went back and settled down we've also come across a deer carcass up there as well which is 100 yards away from where we are now um, and I've been to have a look and it's not been opened up by anything yet um, so presumably buzzards certainly um, white, -tailed e white tailed eagles maybe might find it golden eagles as I understand it might be a bit reluctant to come down into the valleys um, maybe they don't quite feel quite so safe but I don't know them that well so I'm just guessing on that one really and then to top everything off We've got a buzzard that landed on a telegraph pole up there um, and then it dropped down onto the side of the road flew back onto the telegraph pole and we watched it eat a lizard <laughs> very nice indeed i can hear buzzards around now oh loads of big birds over there no nope, need to get back from the binoculars could be a goldie right touch him in it wait we then decided to move further around the lock and stopped and enjoyed the views of this rock with it. And then we got quick views of Shag and Great Northern Diver. This grey heron had caught what appeared to be a very large eel and it was struggling to get it under control. But if you look closely, you can see it's still wriggling going down its throat. Fantastic. Hooded crow were a real treat and a real change from seeing the carrying crows back home. So we've now found the place at the side of Loch Scridane where we saw the otter the other day. We've just seen it very briefly as we pulled up. Um, now I'm making a big gamble using the tiny, tiny little bit of knowledge I've got of otters and hopefully it's going to come back this way as the tide comes in. It's a very, very long shot but what else are we going to do with our day? And then, not one, but two otter.
We'd had the privilege for about 15 minutes of watching these wonderful animals. We couldn't believe it. It was far more than we ever expected. To see them acting naturally, just yards in front of us, was amazing. But as quickly as they had arrived, they were gone. Anyway, we're back here now looking for short-eared owl and hen harrier again. Um, dropping a little bit chilly now, so I'm well, well wrapped up. Lynn thought she saw a male fly over that side earlier on, so she's gone to see if she can find that. I've just hung around here where the car is. Uh, and I'm just overlooking all this moorland now. There's red deer everywhere. Um, keep seeing large birds in the sky, but they all turn out to be buzzards. No eagles today at all, which is the first day I think we've not had eagles, but I shouldn't complain. Um, but yeah, I'm having a whale of a time. Well, that really is the end of day six. Um, we did see the hen harriers, saw a pair, male and female. Got a bit of footage, but as you can see, it's way, way, way off in the distance. Um, but we're here for plenty more days yet, so weather permitting, we'll come back in on another bash tomorrow morning. So day six or seven, I'm losing track now. Seven, I think. Um, no, it can't be seven, it's got to be six. Came last Saturday, it's Friday. Day six. <laughs> and we're back under the shadow of Ben Moore. Um, come to try and find short eared owls again. Um, got Hen Harry yesterday. Again, not great film footage, but we've got good views through the binoculars and the scope but still not had a short eared owl yet. So that's target for today. But the weather had other ideas. So we decided just to drive around the island and discover some spots we'd not been to before. And we saw hooded crow, a wonderful rook, and jackdaws enjoying the beach. We found some oyster catchers along the beach and common gull and then I spotted this ring plover soon joined by a male who was trying to impress her fanning out its tail and doing a little dance but she didn't look impressed and she was off he was left on his own on the beach still. There's always something to eat. Yellowhammers and goldfinch were enjoying the breaks in the rain, but there weren't many. Then a real surprise. Guinea fowl, obviously domesticated, but quite nice to watch. The day ended, as most days did, with red deer. Another day over, and what would tomorrow bring? Finally, finally, after days and days of trying to find a male hen harrier to film, finally got one this morning. And I've just filmed it mating with the female as well. I don't know how much you'll be able to see because it's still quite a long way off, but you can tell it's a male. It's starting to post now, and Lynn's watching it. And this is the first good view she's had of a hen harrier male. And her reaction, it looks like a pigeon.